Hi everyone, this is Saras for bestbookreads.com. So we did two reviews as far as short reviews for Nook HD and Nook HD Plus. Now that wouldn't be complete without actually comparing the two just for the size. We know they're both from the same company. We've already explained in the other video that Nook HD has a cheaper design, whereas Nook HD Plus has a more free premium feel to it. So we all know that the screen size you can see the difference here, it's seven inch versus the nine inch. You can think of this very comparable to Kindle Fire HD seven inch and Kindle Fire HD 8.9. With that said, both of these devices have some advantages over that I'm some disadvantages. For instance, you don't get a camera, you do get memory expansion. You get, overall, you get a little bit better in hardware as far as if you go to dig deep and process or RAM. So it's you have to go line by line because sometimes Kindle Fire has a little bit slight advantage. You get um, better resolution on both of these than Kindle Fire HDs. Now comparing, we're talking about comparing apples and apples. You know, eight point nine to nine and seven inches. You don't compare the high end to low end. So let's be clear about that. The weight is pretty decent. I would say it's not heavy. It's actually lighter for Kindle Fire HD is is heavier than Nook HD. And um, the difference is not huge, but it's something some people care about. Memory expansion, I covered that. No. Let me turn this on. Sorry about that. You have no access to Amazon content that you get for free on Kindle, you know, but the, the advantages of having a Kindle Fire is that it's better integration with Amazon products. But what you do get is now you get the Google Play and Google Play, which you have to, when you get these two, you have to actually run two updates. That's the unit that we got. You, both of them needed two updates to add Google Play and Google Apps and you get YouTube and all that. Pretty smooth, I would say. The screen is actually pretty decent. The back. You get the buttons here. Now, this has a more quality feel to it. You actually, the button is. I don't know if you see that. There we go. That that button. A little bit heavier, obviously, because it is larger display. Should you get it? Which one should you get now that Nook, uh, Barnes & Noble is offering discount on both of these Nook products? I would go with the $179. It has enough to keep you going if you don't have money to or if you don't want to pay for a Nexus 10 or an iPad. Paying $179 for that 9-incher I mean, that's, that's a steal. I don't know how anyone can resist that unless you have a tablet or you're just waiting to sort of saving money to get a very premium tablet, maybe a Sony tablet, the new waterproof one that came out. We're hoping to get that and review that too, by the way. So, yeah, if, if you want, this one is 149, this one is 179. You tell me. It's a very, it's just a no-brainer because of the fact that the prices are so close. And I think it's on purpose that Barnes & Noble is discounting that heavily. $90 from $269 to $179. That's a steal. And with Google Play, I, I would say that's worth it. But the deals that expire on May 12th. So if you want to take advantage of them, you have a limited time. I hope you enjoyed this review. For more information, please go to bestebookreaders.com. If you like this video, please subscribe and your feedback is, as always, welcome. Thanks very much, guys.